Remember this, there is no such thing as you fucking yourself over. You always do and get exactly what you want. Everything you hate in your life right now, you actually love it. There is a part of you that secretly loves it. However, that part of you, more often than not, is out of your awareness. And this is why there's all that friction. Consciously, you're trying to make yourself take action, but subconsciously, if it challenges your identity or challenges a core belief, you will push that away to stay congruent to this. Okay. The example I mentioned before was say guilt. Consciously, I want success. Subconsciously, oh, you did this bad thing. You should not have done that. You fucked up. You need to be punished. And, and it could be even the guilt from like your childhood. You know, it's like, I feel guilty because I bullied someone when I was five. That might still run you. And it's like, I need to be punished for it. I can't allow myself to succeed. You're going to keep pushing it away. There's always two forces, consciously trying to make it happen. But if you don't address the subconscious, there's that other force pushing it away all the time. One, let go of being triggered. Okay, when it comes to the fear of going out, putting yourself out there, approaching, dive into that original thing that's been poked at, reown it, that's gone. Two, let go of negative core beliefs. And three, let go of negative, basically of the core identity. There's another great way of seeing your ceiling of success. Health, wealth, relationships, you even say happiness, we all have that ceiling. I don't deserve more than that. Whenever you pass this, you self-sabotage. You want to know your ceiling of success when it comes to dating? Around who do you feel stifled? You ever see that? You talk to someone you think you're in the same league or you're even outside their league, you don't run out of things to say. But as soon as you're like, oh, they are beyond what I deserve, you freeze. And what do we do? Then we look for techniques. How do I technique to not freeze? What do I do when I freeze? Hey, just don't freeze. No one teaches us that friction between the conscious and subconscious. And that's a really good exercise too. It's like you could even write down all the things you don't like right now. Like even like, oh, I procrastinate, et cetera, et cetera. And ask yourself, what's the secret payoff? What am I secretly getting out of this? That is one step closer to letting go of it. Play the de devil's advocate. Like, hmm, what part of me might secretly love this? You know? It's like, oh, I, I don't have girls. I hate that I don't have a girlfriend. But a part of you might love being the loner. We talked about this even before. Remember, if you're addicted to needing and craving a partner, you won't allow yourself to get it because then you can no longer crave the partner. I had this when I was a, um, a kid. It was in high school and I'd listen to like, all these punk songs like Offspring and Blink-182 and shit. And I'd like, lie down in bed and I'd be like, when I get a girl, when I get a girl, and I'd like, obsess over you know, or fantasize over different girls. Would I allow myself to actually get a girlfriend? Because there were opportunities. No, because if I got the girl, I can't listen to that song and obsess over it. I can't have my emo nights alone anymore. There's a secret payoff. Make sense?